Hello, this is Oliver from the Brave Souls team. Once again, I will be introducing you to new Brave Souls characters and what they have to offer. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more Brave Souls content. Without further ado, let's get to it! Today, I will be introducing three characters from the Japanese Parasol Xenos Summons, Autumn Dew, which will be releasing on the 31st of October. The first character in this summons is Ikaku. Ikaku is a mind attribute character with human killer. His soul trait is damage to enemies not afflicted by an ailment up, which can be strengthened to damage to enemies not afflicted by an ailment plus 30%. He is a melee strong attack type character and his innate skills are sprint plus 1, long stride and dodge human damage 50%. Here's a list with the rest of his skills. Now let's see this character in action. He is great at gathering heart attribute materials thanks to his skills, increased super heart link slot potions plus 5, increased heart link slot potions plus 5 and increased heart droplet drop 30%. He will also be useful when going up against enemies that have iron skin inheritance trials thanks to his skill, hit hidden enemies plus pierce iron skin. Next, let's look more closely at his attacks. Here are the normal attacks. His normal attacks are a string of 4 melee attacks. Now for the strong attacks. Strong attack 1 deals damage while pushing forward. Here is the second strong attack. Strong attack 2 deals damage straight ahead. Here is the third strong attack. This attack goes full screen. Finally, his special move, Sleeping Dragon. And that wraps it up for Ikaku. And now for Rukia. Rukia is a power attribute character with a Rancor Killer. Her soul trait is Strong Attack Recharge Time Reduction. She is a ranged strong attack type character whose second strong attack heals while the rest of her attacks can inflict freeze. Her innate skills are sprint plus 1, medic and freeze resistance 100%. Here's a list with the rest of her skills. Now let's see this character in action. She can inflict freeze on technique attribute enemies with ease thanks to her skill increased status ailment chance against technique attribute enemies. You can also expect her to deal great damage to frozen enemies thanks to her skills, status ailment spiritual pressure boost 80% and damage to frozen enemies 40%. Plus, her damage output will increase as she progresses through quests thanks to her skill Rampage 2% which increases the damage she inflicts by 2% for every enemy she defeats. Next, let's look more closely at her attacks. Here are the normal attacks. Her normal attacks are a string of 4 ranged attacks. Now for the strong attacks. This attack gathers enemies in front of the character while inflicting damage. Here is the second strong attack. Her second strong attack surrounds the character and attacks forward. This attack also heals. Here is the third strong attack. This attack goes full screen. Finally, her special move, Sunshine After Rain. <laughs> And that wraps it up for Rukia. And now for Gin. Gin is a speed attribute character with Soul Reaper Killer. His soul trait is Strong Attack Recharge Time Reduction. He is a ranged, strong attack type character whose second strong attack provides a barrier, while the rest of his attacks can inflict weaken. His innate skills are Sprinter Plus 2, Read All Affiliation Dodges, and full stamina only, reduce strong attack cooldown 6%. Here's a list with the rest of his skills. Now, let's see this character in action. Keeping Gin at full health will allow him to reach great damage output thanks to his innate skill, full stamina only, reduce strong attack cooldown 6%, and his skills, full stamina damage boost 20%, and full stamina only, increase strong attack damage 40%. 
making use of the previously mentioned skills won't be much of an issue, as he can be kept at full health with the help of his skill, Multi Barrier Plus 2. Plus, he is particularly effective against power attribute enemies, thanks to his skills, increased status ailment chance against power attribute enemies, and damage to weakened enemies 40%. Next, let's look more closely at his attacks. Here are the normal attacks. His normal attacks are a string of 4 ranged attacks. Now for the strong attacks. Strong attack 1 goes forward and pushes the enemies. Here is the second strong attack. The second strong attack surrounds the character and attacks forward. This attack also provides a barrier. Here is the third strong attack. This attack goes full screen. Finally, his special move, Harvest Wind Slash. And that wraps it up for Gin. And those were the character intros for the Japanese Parasol Zenith Summons, Autumn Dew. As already mentioned, this summons will be available from the 31st of October, so check it out when it comes out. See you next time, bye!